Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep supporting us. We appreciate your effort. Uh, please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just comment the name or the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest. So today I'm going to be reacting to a prophet like Moses. Peace be upon him. Uh, Sheikh Amit did that. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In South Africa, where I come from, in that ocean of Christianity, we have to present Islam, as Allah Bari Ta'ala tells us in the Holy Quran, ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati. So invite all to the ways of thy Lord with wisdom. Wal mawizatil hasanati, and with beautiful preaching, wajadilhum billati ahsan, and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. And this tartib, this method, this approach that we have developed in South Africa, which we believe is Quranic, speaking to a people according to their own background and experience. And the majority of the people we come across are people with a background of the Bible, what they say, the Holy Bible of the Christians, the Holy Bible, this is the background. So whenever we want to approach them, when we want to talk to them, they say, my Bible says this, or my Bible says that, my Bible says this, or my Bible says that. So, because of the knowledge of the Bible, they are, the bulk of the people are one book professors. They will know only about the Bible. So, what we have to do, and which we are doing in South Africa, we have published books under the title, What the Bible Says About Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Christ in Islam, Jesus Christ in the house of Islam. What is his position? Now, we give references from the Holy Bible, the Christian Bible, which is common to both the Jews and the Christians. And we say, look, the Holy Prophet Muhammad was foretold in your own book. So they say, where? This we get our cue, our direction from the Holy Quran, where Allah says, He says, do they not see this book, the Quran, whether it be from Allah, in and they disbelieve in it. When a witness from among the children of Israel, from the Bani Israel, bore witness of one like him. One like him. Now, who is this witness from among the Bani Israel who testified, who prophesied, who made basharat about the coming of our holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa They say we haven't got anything like that in our book. This is a tall claim made by the Muslims. There's something in our book. There is nothing in our book. So we have to refer to them and we refer to them in the first portion of the Bible called the Torah, the Pentateuch. There are five books attributed to the Holy Prophet Moses. This is not really the Torah, but the Christians and the Jews, they say, this is the Torah. We say in that fifth book of this five books called the book of Deuteronomy, Chapter 18, verse 18, it says, I will raise them up a prophet. I, God Almighty talking, he said, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, like you, like Moses. The Quranic verse. The Bible says, Mithaka. He says, like unto thee, like you. And I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Now we say, who is that prophet? Mithlaka, like you. And this verse, you know, when it is quoted in Arabic, in Arabic, from the Arabic Bible, produced by the Christians, from the Bible societies, we are able to buy these Bibles in a thousand different languages. I had to purchase one in Arabic to learn this, to see how does it read in Arabic. And I read it and I learned it. It says, Uqimu lahum, I'm quoting the Bible now. Now, 
ويكون أن الإنسان الذي لا يسمع لكلامي يتكلم به بإسمي أنا أطالبه that and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words Allah bari ta'ala is saying that when he that prophet who comes like Moses speaking in my name he said I will require it of him in the Catholic Bible the words are stronger he says I will take revenge vengeance from him Allah bari ta'ala in the Christian Bible he's promising vengeance revenge anybody who will not hearken unto my message which that prophet will speak in my name he says I will take revenge now we ask, who is that prophet? So they say, Jesus. So we question, how is Jesus like Moses? And we present our case, and we have produced a booklet. The booklet that, who is this prophet like Moses? I show it to you. Here, yeah. this booklet here. This is what the Bible says about Muhammad. Here we give you the Quranic verse and the tafsir by using the Bible and show more than 15 different reasons why this prophecy, this basharat in the verse that I have quoted, that it does not refer to Jesus Christ, but it refers to the Holy Prophet Muhammad In that we do not mean, we do not claim, we do not say that Jesus was not the Messiah. We say he was the Messiah and there are a hundred prophecies about his coming. But this one in particular Deuteronomy 18.18 refers to the Holy Prophet Muhammad and is that not, does not refer to Jesus. And it is doing a beautiful job. And this booklet is to be translated into the Zulu language, into the Afrikaans language. And we learn this, like for example, this very verse. I learned it in Arabic because I had a motive. And the motive was, long before this turmoil in Lebanon, I had an aspiration to go to Lebanon and speak to the Lebanese Christians. And if I could quote in Arabic, I coming from South Africa, though I read the Quran and I am able to learn and memorize certain words and expressions which I am giving meaning from the translation, I do not know Arabic as a language, unfortunately. I am ashamed of it, that I do not know Arabic as a language. But when I quote this to the respective language group, in his language, in his mother tongue, I can see the impact that it has, which in a foreign language it doesn't hold. So I learned in Arabic with the idea of going to Lebanon and talking to the Arab Christians and proposing these verses to him and reasoning with them. In English, of course, I'll deliver my lecture, but quoting the verses in Arabic. Then I wanted to go to Israel, talking to the Jews. So I learned it in Hebrew. Amazing, you know. I learned it in Hebrew. It says, Navi akim lahim mikarib akhayhim kamo khawinatati. Before with the bir, I quote it in Hebrew. I quote it in Afrikaans. I quote it in Zulu. I quote it in a dozen different languages. This is my hobby, my pastime, that whenever I go to a new country, I try to get a smattering of that language, that I can win the hearts and minds of the people by delivering this message of Islam to them. So, in this verse, it says that prophet will come speaking in my name. And this is so beautifully demonstrated from the Quran. In this Quran especially, I open from the right at the end where we have all the small surahs. The small surahs of the Quran beginning, Kul a'udhu bir bin nas, Kul a'udhu bir bil falak, Kul huwa Allah, tabbat yada. And in this translation, every page is a new surah. And I open the page, for example, here. Yeah, I open the page beginning with surah nas, surah nas, and so it begins. So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Next page. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Next page. Bismillahir Rahman. Every every chapter of the Holy Quran from begins with Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious. Most merciful, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. It's amazing. It's amazing that every chapter, every page from the end, if you start showing it to the Christian and the Jew, it's said, look, every page begins in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. And the Bible says that it will come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. In whose name is Muhammad speaking? He is speaking 
Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. And this is a fulfillment of a prophecy to the letter, to the T. And if we can only demonstrate to our fellow countrymen and our visitors and our tourists and our fellow workers, inshallah, you will be able to do a job of work far more readily, far more effectively if you can present the Quran to them. Wa akhir dawanan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. I would have to agree that when when you speak to someone in a language they understand, they're more you're more likely to have a breakthrough. You're more likely to get something out of that and like just um speaking in whatever language you want to speak, thinking everyone will understand. They may understand but they may not appreciate it as much and it's good that he does he used to do um recite things in languages that people could understand wherever he went and another thing that he spoke he touched on was another thing i noted in this video is um <clears throat> i feel like to me this is my opinion i feel like he's encouraging people to read beyond what they know to read beyond the bible to read beyond the quran or whatever holy book you may be following at the moment because there's so much knowledge that you can that you can get out there that maybe is not in your holy book and you may find it amazing as to how much information you uh, come across I think the video speaks for itself those are the things that I noted but if there's anything else that you guys would love to discuss feel free to comment down below your comments are always welcome and please help me by giving me stuff to react to just name whatever you want me to react to and i'll react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video